Hi, today I'm going to show you how to set up an email signature for all users in Office 365. So let's get started. First I log into my tenant as a global administrator. Then using the left menu I can access my Exchange Online Admin Center. In the menu I click Mailflow tab and add a new rule. Clicking the plus icon lets me choose Apply Disclaimers from the drop-down menu. Now I want to type in the name of my new rule. Here I can choose when to apply the disclaimer. It can be used only for inbound or outbound communication or can be applied only for a chosen group of users. I'm going to set it up so that it's applied to every message. Here comes the best part, setting the template for my signature. With some HTML knowledge I can design beautiful signatures. If I need inspiration or if I'm not an HTML expert, I can just use a pre-made template. The one I'm using is taken from mailsignatures.com. You can find the link in the video description. Getting the HTML code from one of the templates is really easy. I just have to download the template and open the HTML file in Notepad. It's worth remembering that if I choose a template with images, these images need to be uploaded and linked to in the template like that. One more thing. For the signature to work, I have to change attributes names so that they fit this format. Now I'm going to choose what happens if Office 365 cannot add the disclaimer. If the message is encrypted, for example. If I choose reject, the message will not be delivered. Wrap makes the original message to be attached to an envelope, an email with only your signature in it. Ignore will send the message without the signature. I'm going to choose wrap. It's worth remembering that if I don't add any exceptions, the disclaimer will be applied to all emails, including replies and forwards. In that case, the signatures will stack on the bottom of the conversation. To prevent that, let's add an exception. Copy in a fragment of the text from your disclaimer and putting it in here will do the trick. At this point, it's a good idea to apply the changes. Now let's test if everything worked out fine. I'm going to send the message to myself and here it is. All of the placeholders have been updated with my user data. To learn more about email signatures, visit this blog. For more email signature features, check out Code2 Software at code2.com. Thank you for watching.